Hello, it is March 23rd, and um, of course this is my second time making this video, as always, because YouTube likes to mess up. Um, but, yeah, so this is going to be a craft storage video. This is like a reply to Rosa's video. I thought it was really cool and inspired me to make my own. Um, she runs Beagle's Vanity Shop. I'll link you guys to that on the bottom. Um, but I first want to say that my stuff is not as organized as hers. I don't really have that many big boxes to put things in. I just have lots of little boxes. And then I keep my flowers on stems. So, yeah. Um... So I'll just like pick up my camera. My camera is a webcam connected to my laptop. So I'll just pick it up and show you guys my workspace really quick. Last time I did this, it was a little bit of a maneuver. So yeah. Um, yeah, I work at a desk and it has like a pull out thing on the bottom and that's where I keep most of my supplies and tools. So I'll just quickly show you guys. There's some flowers right there. Keep some flowers there. Here's all my stuff. My workspace is also a vanity. Here's my things. My flowers. Some stuff that I put on. Okay. Uh, okay, so first off, um, take a knee here. This is a little jar that my brother made out of a gourd when he was really young, and I used it to keep all my tools in. Whoops. So yeah, as you can see, these just fill out. Box cutters, measuring tapes, nail files, because like I said, this is also my vanity, so things just kind of squeeze in with each other. This is, um, something I keep around. This is just, like... It's for cards, business cards, and I keep everybody's business cards in here that I've met through vending shows and, and um, you know, people sending me stuff. So here's all my cards. Tons and tons of cards. Um, yeah, and on my little pull-out area is where I keep my glue and some sewing stuff. Um, here's a bag of clay. You can't really see the clay, but there's that. This is my super adhesive glue. I learned from this stuff when I made my shrunken head because um, I needed something that will stick really well and dry quick and this stuff works really well. Um, I used it to stick on like all my little people like that because I found out a lot of times if I use hot glue they don't stay very long. Um, I don't know about other girls maybe it's just because I don't put enough grip on the back you know um, when I'm making the item but yeah I use that super adhesive glue. Uh, to stick those things on. Here's my sewing kit, my hand sewing kit. Um, I have my sewing machine tucked away under this desk, and I use that a lot. Um, I made this sewing little bag myself. This is for my glue gun. I made this bag myself, too. Um, I keep all my glue sticks just hanging out down here, tape hanging out down here, diamonds, of course, in their packaging, but they're all just hanging out down here. Um, yeah, I got lots of tape and lots of felt back here. So, next, this is where I keep my hair clips in a little jar. It's porcelain. I got this from some house place. It's not vintage or anything, but yeah, clips. Clips. And what else? I just have like little random jars that I've made, like in ceramics, because I'm a ceramics kid. This is one I made, Frog's Breath, like from Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I don't really like Jack and Sally stuff, or like Oogie Boogie stuff, kind of. But I like to collect, like, the things that, um, didn't really get a lot of attention in the movie, like this, for instance. I have a lot of these little cardboard boxes, round boxes, and, um, you, that's a little boy, you know, a little vampire boy. And I like collecting stuff like that. So, yeah, this has all my sewing thread in there. Um... I leave my glitters just kind of hanging out. So, there's that. Um, I leave, I usually have my Mod Podge out and my white paint out because I use a lot of those things. I use Mod Podge to cover my little clay people and, um, you know, seal them in and make them shiny and whatever. Here's my little tomato. For sewing. Everyone needs a tomato. Um, 
Yeah, and since I I found those little Tim Burton boxes for really cheap, so I have a whole bunch of them lying around. This is just the cap I used to hold my little um, people in. Um, I think I'll take a second to show you guys this. It's a wallet I made a long, long time ago at my friend's house. Um, it's got like a little uh, lace bow. It's white and baby pink. That's the theme of this. Oops, upside down. And yeah, I made a little thing for your cards. Put your cards in here. It's got lace to accent, make it look pretty. And here's a little coin pouch. It doesn't open all the way, but that's so things don't fall out. It stays covered like that, but you can easily put things in and take them out. And yeah, that's again with lace and a little pretty skull. And you put your money in here. See, like a regular wallet. And I put a little fake label in, just skulls and whatever, because I don't. I still don't have labels. I'm planning on making clothes, but I don't have labels yet. So yeah, this is just a cute little girly wallet. Um, if you guys want me to make these, I can make these for you guys. Or if you want this one, please feel free to ask me for this one. I don't use it, and um, I'll sell it for relatively cheap. Um, yeah. And next, I have tons and tons of boxes full of stuff. I don't know if you can see my closet up at the top. Where is my finger? Right around there, that's a giant box full of hats. Down here, whoa. Down in there, there should be like a giant tub full of fabric. I have so much stuff just lying around my room. <coughs> As you saw with my flowers everywhere. Um, yeah, so I got these little boxes at Ikea. They have little things for your labels. Um, but it's like two for three dollars, and they come in this, and also new ones in this striped fabric or cardboard which I really like um, but yeah but I keep all kinds of things in here this is my ribbon box this this one here is just my miscellaneous box I have feathers and gears and then my little skeleton hands and everything else This is a box full of, like, kind of cheap paint. This is the cheap paint that I think I bought this for Zombie Walk because we were painting something. I don't use this kind of paint on my items. I like to use, um, like, artist acrylic paint. I'll show you guys right now. This is my painter's box. Um, I was in a painting class. I took an art class, or I mean, an acrylic paint class. Well, it wasn't actually limited to acrylic. There's people using oils. But acrylic is a lot easier. It dries faster. So yeah, in here, I just have all my super fancy artistic paintbrushes, paints, up the hoo-ha. These are the artistic, um, the artist acrylic paints. They come in, like, kind of a metal tube. It doesn't have to be the, you know, this certain brand. There's all kinds of brands, but this stuff is really, you know, concentrated and um, very thick. And yeah, so I use that on all my items. I have a plethora of various colors. Sorry for running off screen. All my stuff is on my bed over there. Um, so yeah, a lot of these things I just keep in my closet because I don't use them very often. Um, as you see right now, I'm working on bows and hair flowers, so I don't really bring these things out much, but I have these little leopard that, if I tip this, everything will go over, but, yeah, I keep all my little metal things in here. I got some rings, some little clips, um, necklace things, a whole bunch of earring things that apparently got loose, they're running all over in here, and... What's in this one? Some labels. Stuff like that. Same things over here. Here's some of these. I guess I never opened them. <laughs> but yeah, these two boxes stay in my closet all the time. Um, then I have these little boxes. And this one right now is filled with like some old earrings and stuff like that that I made. But, um,. Let me grab the other one real quick. Okay. 
also, when I go out and vend, this is a good tip for all you guys who do, you know, vending or whatever, I bring these little boxes, and I fill them with stuff to make things. And it's like a little kit. And so, like, last time I vended, the new thing that I was doing was these, um, cardigan clips. And these look really great with the pink right now. <laughs> but, yeah, so, these cardigan clips, I was doing these and they were new. So, and I hadn't had a lot of time to test them, so I wasn't sure if they were going to be breaking or anything. Luckily, they didn't, but, um, I brought a kit with all the stuff. So, if I had to repair it, I could do that. Or also... Um, some people will bring their bows, like ribbons and things like that, and, and needle and thread, and they'll work on their bows there, like while they're selling, or when it's slow, because it is slow, eventually, throughout the day. But, um, yeah, so taking a little kit to work on things is a really good idea, and, yeah, they, I usually just end up leaving the extra stuff in there for, you know, because I don't feel like unpacking, but, uh, yeah. Here is, where is this? See, this is an example of how my stuff is organized. It's just random things. I got feathers, crappy paint, freaking plastic cockroaches, a comb, and an old candy, and then a big bundle of ribbon. So, yeah, that's kind of how I organize. Oh, yeah. just want to take a second to talk about these. These are like for necklaces, obviously, like when you're vending. It's like a velvet kind of thing, but it's on cardboard. And these are okay, but like, I bought this one like for two shows ago or something like that, and it's already like ripping apart and breaking like really bad. And I think I got these at Michael's for like, whoops, yeah, see, it just broke. <laughs> for like, I think five dollars a pop. And I mean, that's not bad if they're just gonna break after two shows, but um, don't buy these things expecting them to last forever, because they will not. I have this head here. I wrapped it in a towel. Don't think it's racist or anything. Just so I could um, use the iron on it without it melting, this lady said. But, um, yeah, so I make hats on this. I use this to, like, um, mold the hats and make sure that they are going to fit on a normal human head. Um, so that's just one other thing that kind of stays in my closet. I don't make hats that often anymore. And when I do, it's like the fasten fasteners like this, you know, round ones. Very simple. Um, oh yeah, and then the rest of my boxes are for my hair accessories that I've made. This box is full. This was my first box. This is, again, an Ikea box. Go to Ikea.com and you can see all these things. This is pretty much full. So, yeah, I had to move on. Um, I think my third year doing Classic Cadavers is when I started buying, like, new stuff. Or actually more boxes to hold my items. This one is full of things. Hats, flowers, bows. This one's actually just hat hats and flowers. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then you saw things that I'm working on up over here, and I've kind of just got stuff lying around everywhere. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I'm going to make a video about, um, like, fashion and business, and where I am in it, and um, where I'm planning to go with it. And also, you know what, I'll just show you guys real quick. something I've been doing. Oh no, you know what? I'm already up to 15 minutes. I'll show you guys in my next video in the fashion business, so just watch that one, okay? <laughs> Thank you for watching, by the way. Leave comments if you like my music, because I like this music. This song right now is by, um, it's called Freestyle, Don't Stop the Rock, and it's like a little robot voice and funny little piano sounds and stuff like that, so yeah. Leave a comment if you like my music. Leave a comment if you like what you saw, if you have any ideas. Um, or if you already use some of these techniques to hold your stuff and, and do things that shows. So, yeah. Bye-bye.